So the next step is to add a little bit more detail to the shader for the big planet. And that's really going to make this look really, really cool. It's also going to introduce you to bump maps. So, because we're working on the shader, we're going to go back into the hypershade. And we're going to select, well, we'll clear the work area first. And we're going to select the big planet material. Now, what we're going to do first of all, is we're just going to add a glow to the planet. And that's going to give the effect that it's got like an atmosphere, like our own planet has. So, we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on special effects and I'm going to put a glow intensity of 0.5. We're going to test render this in a minute. If it's too bright, we're going to turn it down. If it's not bright enough, we'll turn it back up. What we also need to do now is make new connections. So we're going to add a bump map to this. So in order to do that, we're going to find where it says under the common material attributes, bump mapping. And we're going to click on the checker box. That's going to ask us what we want to connect. We're going to choose File, and then that's going to take us through to um, this file node. So here you can see Bump Depth. Now we're going to need to come back here in a minute, and I'm going to have to show you how to do that. But before we can change the Bump Depth, we need to attach an image to be the Bump Map. And all the Bump Map is is a black and white image. Well, it's a grayscale image. Anything that's black doesn't appear to be raised up. Anything that's white appears to be very raised up, and anything in between varies. So I'm just going to click on this little arrow chappy here, which will take me through to the connection, which is the um, file node. And from within the textures folder, I'm going to choose Earth Bump. And you can see that's the type of image I'm talking about. And as soon as I assign that, you can see straight away that this preview here is now showing uh, a little bit of bumpiness, which is what I wanted to happen. OK, so now what I need to do is just within this preview, I'm going to change the render to make sure it's on viewport 2.0 because the legacy default viewport doesn't support bump apps. I'm just going to make sure I can see the planet. There it is, and you can see straight away what the bumpiness has done. It probably looks too bumpy though, so now we need to look at how we refine that. And within your work area, you're looking for a bump 2D one node. It should already be there because we've just created the connection, but let's say for some reason it isn't, so we'll clear the work area. The way to make sure you can find it is click on your big planet material, and I'm going to right click and hold and choose graph network. And that then will show up all the different nodes that make up this shader. And from there I can click on my bump 2D1 node, and then I can mess around with the bump depth. And you can see as I change this slider, it affects how bumpy this appears. I'll try something like 0.35. And now I'm just going to do a test render to see how that's looking. And there's the result. So I can see that the glow intensity is probably a little bit too high. So I think I'm going to knock that down to 0.2. But you can see the bumpiness doesn't look too bad. It's possibly a little bit strong. So I might just knock that down slightly. And I'll knock the uh, glow down. And then I'll render again and see how that looks. Okay, so the glow is possibly still a little bit strong, but I'm happy enough with it. Um, and I'm happy enough with the, the way that the bump map looks as well. So, that brings us to the end of my introduction to Maya 2016 tutorial. Following on from this, there will be my introduction to animation in Maya 2016 tutorial. So if you click the link or follow the link below to move on to that, it uses this exact same project. So it takes where you are now and we move on to animating cameras within the room, animating the planets. So it very much builds on this, but it is also its own thing. So keep that in mind. If you have found this particular tutorial useful, then I highly recommend subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, the link is on screen. You will also notice that there are some other bump maps uh, and different texture files within the source images folder that you've downloaded. So if you want to apply those, for instance, the bump map on the crate looks quite nice, then you should do that as well to continue building on your skills. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.